so today I'm going to talk about uh, three things. The first thing I'm going to show is how I like to do the dars. Secondly, I want to show how I prevent the dars. So defend it, prevent it. And as a third and most important, how I can actually use a, so a person attacking me with the dars to my advantage to actually win the fight. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole video for those three things. So the first thing, how to attack the dars. I'm going to just show it from a basic half guard. Can you please me? So uh, move your head over here. Yeah. And it's in basic half guard. Now, usually, if a person is laying flat, you cannot go for a dart. So you're better off flattening him out, trying to go for a knee slide or a basic guard pass. So in this case, Latif is coming up and he's going to go for the underhook. And I really want him to commit to this. If I go too soon and I make him scared of the darts, see, then he might actually get his arm out. So I want to give him hope. He's actually getting somewhere. How usually people like to play half guard is to get far across the hip here. See, and then uh, rotate the shoulder in, please, Alif. Yeah. And now it gets tight for me. So if I want to go this close, it's quite hard. But now to, to uh, explain for you, it gets tight, please. Yeah. You can actually feel now it's just too close. So I'm going to go a bit backwards, but I'd like to start here so you get the feeling right. So I'm going to use my, in this case, my inside, my right arm, my inside arm. I'm going to go underneath. See, I'm going to go as deep as possible. Now, if I'm too close, Latif can reach my leg right away, my foot, and he can start to use it to come on top uh, with, a, with a basic half guard sweep. So what I do, I want to put my hand deep here, and I want to walk backwards, see, far away from his head. So try to go deep now, Latif, please. It's hard, right? Yeah. yeah. Try to get your arm out. It's still doable, but, uh, but kind of hard, okay? So in this case, his hand is across my hip. What I want to do now, look, if Latif decides to put his head away from me, See here, and I can actually start windshield wiping see, and keep his head stuck. And I'm actually stretching him with, a, with a, uh, an, an elbow lock, an arm bar, which will never work because people will take it out. When he takes it out, see, that's when I want to block the head. See, try to pull the head away, please, to make it realistic, is to put all this bit of pressure away from me with the head. So I try to get the head away, see, I block it. And now the whole trick here is to bend his neck back in, keep tight with it. Just pull it, it will be hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put forward pressure, see, and little by little, see, instead of pulling it straight, so I'm going to torque his neck. So keep putting pressure away, please. So I'm to walk closer and torque his neck. Now the big detail here is this. See, the moment I put my arm very deep and I go for the dars, that's when Latif can stretch his neck again. See, because I was using my both hands to keep the neck bent. So you try to stretch it out. That's hard, right? Yeah. See, but the moment I close, he can open his head again. And he will often not win this battle anymore. So I'm going to bring it close in. What I want to do, I want to pull his head in, at the same time, put his shoulder over. See? So put him almost on his side. I'm going to go as deep as possible. I can even sometimes completely lay in tight here. See, try to get out of it. Quite hard, right? Yeah. So, okay. Once I'm here, I'm going to bring it close. And now the trick is this. I use my right hand for a split second to just block his head, try to get it out. It's still hard. And I'm going to use my elbow to keep his head trapped. So I'm actually not using my hands at this point. So, hand, switch with the elbow. And make sure the head goes in that direction. I have to put my arm in the same vector. If I put my arm like this, try to move now. You can move a little bit. If I close my elbow and have hope in my hand, so he pulls straight backwards, now it's harder for him. I can still use my elbow to pull him close. Now I'm going to put my right hand in this case, inside my elbow, just like a mother I'm going to put my left hand high. And I hear it's the weakest link principle again. The weakest link means, first make sure you tighten your grips as tight as possible. And tap if you have to. He already tapped here, which means, okay, great, it was tight. But I don't want to rush this, because if I rush, it actually might injure him. So I'm going to go, you're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go slow, 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 slow. So I'm going to do it too tight now, but you should almost feel like tapping for the grip alone. And I should not feel tired. So not go like, <laughs> and then relax again. No, you build the pressure. Once it's tight here, I'm going to close my elbow a bit more. See, so I'm rotating his head. So his nose towards his butt, turning it like in a stack, sideways stack a bit. This point, I'm keep pushing forward. I'm gonna sprawl my hip, and I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna lift Latif's hip from the floor using his neck and his spine, which will not happen, but it's the idea. Think about it. So here he's gonna lean backwards, and then we get a tap. So once again, real quick. So he goes in for the hook. Go in with your arms, see, and then right away move backwards. So he cannot really go deep and control my neck. Uh, my, my leg. I'm control his head. He tries to get it free. Try to get it out, please. That doesn't work. I keep it blocked. So I'm going to go deeper with my arm, all the way across my elbow, and I keep the head closed. So try to get your head free. Hard, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, I'm going to slide my elbow over, keep his head, his head blocked. He might or might not take his arm out. It doesn't really matter that much. See here? 
Then also important, roll with your thumb so the knife of your arm is against his neck, not the flat. Once I'm here, walk up with your, with your hand, keep it super tight. Now concentrate on your weakest links, so make the grips 100% tight. Push forward, rotate on your hip, look to the ceiling, and I'm gonna rotate my bottom hip inside while I rotate my, my outside hip out. So that's the attack. Now you know how to attack. You can go on this side of it, please. But this is a very good Dars. So it's actually a very good person to train those things with. So first of all, uh, I throw it a bit more over here. Yeah. First of all, if I keep maximum distance with my knee, knee shield, you can never get there. But let's assume I was gonna go to the same position. Look, here again, look. Try to go underneath this at this, see? What I gotta do is just a baby bridge. See, go for it. See, if I lean away, try to go for the dart, please. Yeah. You cannot really do it, see? So baby bridge, go back. Just, again, keep your arms too close. Keep your shoulders away. You can either do this one, or you can also turn it into a, a, a belly down already. So you go with this arm underneath. Press to reach, see, here. Try to read it, reach it. Yeah, very hard. If I go closer, I bend my neck. That's when you start, start to get the option of taking it. So prevention, look away, and that's it. See, go deep as a deep. Now, very important, see my hand is still on his hip. Um, let's rotate a bit over here. Let's just talk about uh, my left arm here. Look, if I just keep myself far away and keep my hand over, go for it again, please. If I keep my arm completely straight, even if I prevent the darts here, put pressure on the elbow, yeah. I will have to tap and get it out, and that's when you can start attacking the darts again. So what I gotta do, I gotta, it's like my arm bar defense, I have to put my hand backwards and lock my elbow. So I'm not trying to muscle it. I put my fingers open, hand backwards, and rotate the elbow on the inside. So now do it again, please, here. So go for it, for the arms. Go. Way harder, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, second way, so let's go back here again. The second thing, how you prevent it, is again this, you're here, it goes deep, see? You can also, instead of going far away, you can also lay here. So this is the baby bridge. Then you go inside with your shoulders. And if his leg would be out, this is the beginning of a baby bridge on the other side. This motion I call the scoop. So baby bridge, bring the shoulders in, keep walking. Yeah, very tight. Knee and, sh uh, sh and shin and shoulder together. And this is the beginning of either the baby bridge on the other side or baby bridge on this side. I call it the baby bridge before I call it the outside shoulder escape and the beginning of the scoop I call it the inside shoulder escape and the inside shoulder escape is the beginning of the baby bridge on the other side and you can switch again back and forth what is it actually this motion here by laying here puts you in the middle of so people always talk about a double attack when doing jiu jitsu what I do now is a double defense so I'm here double defense means so it depends from here I can go both ways, I can either bay reach to the other side or put my shoulders out right away. If I'm here, he knows I'm going to go that way. And if I'm in the bay reach on the other side, he knows I'm going to go this way in my bridge. But if I'm half-half, like this, I can choose where I go. I can take my shoulders out, bay reach on one side, rotate my hips, bay reach on the other side. So go back here, please. That is what we need for the, for the second step. So prevention. Go lean away, go for it, please. To make sure you're far away, keep a small micro bend in the elbow and try to take it and go. Very hard. Now look, from here, I'm going to do the second part. See, I always like to be very close in hand guard. So now I'm going to show you how you can use the, the Dars attack to your advantage. So usually when you fight in competition, especially if it's a strong muscle guy, right? You try to come up and it keeps me away. So you keep your hands to keep me away. Yeah, so, and I never allow you to come close. And you're forced to play open guard more, which is way more dangerous for foot locks. And, and, it, and also you can move more. So I always prefer, prefer to, to play very tight and very close. So to do this, look, I need him to commit to the attack. If I give him hope and give him a reason to be close, then he's gonna, be, gonna want to be close. The closer he is, the more I can predict the game. Since I have a very good dart, def dart defense I can rely on, I can predict entirely how the attack is gonna be, and I don't really mind to be there, to be honest. So what I do usually, see, I go half-half, and, and, and I offer the, the dars a bit, see, here. Keep my hand on the outside of the hip, keep a micro bend, hand backwards, and he starts to go. Here, now, stay here, relative. look. If I dive myself, go for it, relative. and now I get actually, exactly stuck where he wants me to be. So what I wanna do, I wanna use his strength, I'm gonna look away, just to pull my head inside, pull it in, pull it in, go with your other arm deep as well, and when he goes, it's when I scoop. See, now put your arm deep, relative. This spot is also, also safe. So go try to get the dars. 
So you can do that. Now two things can happen. Now we have the double defense or the double attack. Because offense and defense are the same. Offensive defense, I call it. So what can happen here? If Latif keeps his weight forward, here I keep scooping my butt, my shoulders out, rotate my knees, see? And I can use it for a sweep on that side. And go deep again, please. So I keep my hand on my leg here. I will show the other angle straight away. I block it. I keep looking away. Now, Latif is smart, so he doesn't want this. What he's going to do? He's going to bring his weight backwards. That's when I scoop my shoulders out and I go for the dog fight. We're trying to go on top. You can, can loop the arm out, go to the back. Uh, this I will go more in, uh, more in depth in my inner half guard with a video soon. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. So we hook the foot. This is also an important detail. Hook the foot really helps. So you usually play knee shield. He starts to come closer. I lie him in. First, first, see, put, bend your arm, keep it locking the elbow, and I roll my elbow open a bit. If I go here, he can go deep, see, yeah. If he can go open, it's, it's harder for him. Now, I keep a distance, he tries to go deep, pull my head piece of it, yeah. So I know he wants to play cross. I keep resisting, keep looking away, he starts to pull it in, pull, 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 and when I feel I'm past the center line, I dive in. Now, from here, the basic thing would be just to follow the motion, see, and he keeps his arm inside for now, see. Roll through, come on top. Second part, I go here, I scoop. He, he brings his weight away. When he's over the center line, I start scooping out again. Now there's more tricks I can use. My hand at first, you look, usually people, they like to grab the leg. If I grab the leg, see what if you sit down, please? See? You can just sit down and I cannot bring his weight over anymore. So what I prefer, let's walk around a bit again. What I, like, what I prefer this position is this hand, I call it the oil check. For a few reasons. First of all, I put a hand on the butt, so it's, it's actually, it looks like an oil check, but also in competition, if you yell to your guys, guys, oil check, oil check. It's very funny to see the reactions of the other team. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> so it's an oil check, but not actually the oil check. So I put a hand on the butt here, see? And as he goes for the darts, see? Put your hand in, see? I lean in. See, now just if I keep my hand here, try to go back please a bit. It's very hard for him to sit back. My, my hand here over his elbow blocks it, and my hand on the butt, so you sit back with it, it's very hard. And now what I can also use is my left leg here, so you step over his foot, see, scoop it open and release, uh, switch my legs. It's like, this becomes like an Americana on the leg, see. Once I have this, so you don't even need my hand anymore, lower yourself please. Hard, right? Yeah. And now it's when I can use the arm on the leg. I keep scooping, see, and at this point, see, he might, if the arm is properly trapped, he will fall. What often will happen here as I go, the Tatif is smart, he starts to stretch his right leg. And I lose that hook. So go back, please, Tatif. So as I'm here at traffic, he stretches it out. And so you take over with a lockdown. Lockdown, lift him up, look away, stretch out, put on top, where he comes back in, and reverse the motion and go to the other side. Once again from the other side. And this, to be honest, I cannot, I, I cannot imagine how many fights I won this against bigger guys, especially in open weight, this works great because it's always the, the huge, strong, buff guys who like to go for a dars and they trust it so much that they don't actually wait for ideal timing. I really don't remember how many fights over the with it. So he goes for it. See, here he goes. I keep my head away. I can even initially keep the arm blocked. See, he fights for it. When he goes, see, I dive deep, put the hand on the butt. Now, what often can happen so here, I, I keep turning in. See? Put the pressure on the butt, step over, switch my legs, and I keep it like trapped. If I keep my foot high, try to stretch it like this a bit, it's way harder. If I drop it, now we can stretch it. So we can initially just go here. If Latif does stretch his foot, I have to take over with my lockdown. The lockdown, lift up first, look away, stretch out, and then make it a scoop again. We go back up. Now, last detail here. Look, if Latif puts it, if Latif gets his arm out, and he posts it, I won't be able to sweep him anymore. So what I prefer to do, go back please. Initially you can teach your beginners this, to use the hand and catch the hand, and so like this, yeah, catch his wrist. And I can actually use now my shoulder in his, in his armpit to push him over. Try to go back down all the way. It's hard, right? Yeah. I can do the exact same thing. The only downside is once I catch this, he realizes what's up. So most people will lower, try to lower their butt and start pushing you in the face and fight to go back again. So, to be honest, I usually just trap the arm here, I don't really catch it. But every once in a while, put your arm deep, please. If I put it deep, try to get your arm out now, it should be hard. So, every once in a while, what I do do is I go inside, I scoop, see here, 
And as I go, if I feel his weight is over, then I catch it. You try to get out of this, hard right. Yeah. I use my, so, that, so when I lose with, with, with gripping the arm, I gain by pushing his butt with the oil check. So go over nothing, you go back, go back, it's very hard. I keep insisting until I succeed, or he really turns back. I circle with, see, and get back off, usually fit my leg underneath, and go to the dog fight position. So that's actually one of my favorite setups from a uh, half guard. Okay, so this, the, the mechanics I used here, the baby bridge, the scoop, and the actual bridge, are the same thing I also use in uh, my defense from the arm triangle or katagatame. So don't, rem uh, for don't forget, after this video, it's finished now, you can watch the defense of katagatame over here. And if you want to see more examples of offensive defense, I just to click this playlist over here for a whole bunch. That's actually my, uh, my favorite game.